Welcome to Road to GM, everybody. You already know what time it is. What what time is it? It's time for Road to GM, motherfucker. So like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into these videos. My opponent plays E4. E4, I play the Sicilian defense, and this game right here is an end game masterclass. He develops his knight out. I develop my knight out. He develops his bishop, and now I play E6, preparing D5. He develops his knight. I develop my knight. He plays d3, and now I strike in the center with d5. Take, take, we're hitting the bishop. He can't take because knight takes, knight takes, queen takes. Come on, man, we notice. So he goes and pins. We break the pin. He pins again. And now instead of, because I'm thinking, okay, if I play this, he's going to take, I'm going to take. Then he can take this pawn, and I don't like that very much. But, I mean, I guess after he takes... My knight, I take. He takes my pawn. I can take this, hitting the rook. But I play I play a6, just because I'm like, get about here. Get about here. He takes. I take. And now I am developing. The, I'm defending this pawn. He castles. I play bishop to e7 because I had a anticipating he's going to bring the rook to the e-file, which he does. That way he'd take and damage my structure. But I'm in time, so I can castle, and we're in business. He strikes in the center, and I'm like, hmm, what do I do here? What do I do here? Let's close it. Shut it down. Shut it down. I was unsure about this move, but it's okay. He steps his queen up to the business, and now I play h6, asking him questions like, hmm, does he have a sack? Or is he going back up? And in my mind, I'm like, ooh, maybe he does have a sack. Bishop takes, pawn takes, queen takes. Knight jumps in, but then my knight just defends. And he doesn't really have any checks. So I was like, you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. If he wants to sack, he can do that. By all means, go do that. He doesn't do it, though. He drops the bishop back. And now I play b5 just to take space. And these pawn pushes are what ultimately wins the game. Like, taking space, he steps the queen up. And now I'm like, hmm. Knight h5, hitting the queen, hitting the bishop. He takes my bishop. And now I can't. Whoa, I can't take the queen? I thought if I take the queen, he takes the queen, I take back. Okay, I thought I thought for some reason he takes queen, I take queen, and he'd be up a piece. But I messed up here. But instead, he takes my queen, I take his queen. It's okay, though. Players mess up, too. He steps his rook up, and now I'm like, okay. First, let's boot out the knight, make the knight go back, decide where it wants to go. Here, here, it wants to go there. That's cool. Now what do we do? We challenge the rook. Challenge the rook, see what he wants to do. Trade, 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 trade. Okay, now we into an endgame. Bishop knight versus two knights, but look at this beautiful space. He starts bringing his king. I start pushing my pawns a little bit more. He tries to break out, but I'm like, mm, mm. one, do I push this? Do I push this? He takes, I take. He has potential passer. So you know what? I'm like, let me just keep the tension. I play bishop to a4, hitting the knight. Bishop to a4, putting pressure on the knight, trying to induce this move. He doesn't do it. Now he's attacking in this pawn, and I anticipated g3 coming, and I'd have to drop back, and then I'd lose this pawn. So I play bishop to c5 just to, just to put extra defense on it. He jumps the knight in, now I'm like, mm, bishop all the way to a8. Just put the bishop on a8, defend the pawn. He kicks out my knight, I drop back. It's completely even, but we're just going to keep maneuvering. We're going to keep maneuvering. I drop my knight back because I'm anticipating knight to b6, hitting my bishop and my pawn, and he already has a knight defending it, so I need to put extra protection on that as possible. He steps up. Now I bring my bishop up. He's attacking it. He starts moving around, and I'm like, ooh, shit, what do I do here? What do I do here? Uh, 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 F6. But I decide I'm playing H5 so I can play G6 and not hang my H6 pawn. He starts moving his king. Now I play G6. He jumps around, hitting my bishop. I step up. These knights can't really touch my bishop. They can, they can touch it. They can't take it, though. They can't force the trade, though. Now he steps up. I start bringing my king a little bit closer. Just, I got to get my king a little bit closer to the action. He hits my, my bishop again, but you're wasting all this time because I'm just going to be moving around. Now he steps the knight up. 
and here I should chop the knight immediately. But I did. Ooh, I messed up. I take the knight. He takes back, and now I step the king up. And I'm thinking, oh, this knight's going to be trapped. He plays a motherfucking three. He plays a motherfucking three. And I'm like, what do I do here? What do I do here? What do I do here? Bishop c6. Threatening to chop. Threatening to chop. He takes a pawn. I take back. Now he brings his king. And I'm like, ooh, let me get my king a little bit closer. Let me get my king a little bit closer. Because I am threatening to take this, and this knight is damn near trapped. This knight's going to be trapped. He starts moving, and now I'm like, you know what? Give me your motherfucking knight. We're going to win this pawn and motherfucking We're going to win this. We're going to win this, motherfucker. He takes back. Now he starts stepping. Now he pushes his pawn, and I'm like, uh, I'm not going to take. Taking isn't good, because if I take, he's just going to get in. So let me, let me win this king and pawn endgame with style. Step the king up. You can take this Ponskianski. He takes the Ponskianski, I take back. But you can't get close. You can't get close, big fella. These Ponskianskis are locking down the structure. You can't get close. He starts pushing his pawn, give me a pawn. And instead, look at this. I'm not pressuring. I'm not pressuring when no pawn pushes. I'm not, and I'm not trying to run around this way because that's going to give him time to run around. Let me get in front of this pawn. Let me get in front of this pawn because as soon as I get there and you try to step up, guess what? Goodbye, Denver Broncos. Let's ride. D Denver Broncos, let's ride. He runs. Give me the pawn. He's pushing. Check. Step up. Check. Sack the pawn. He moves king up. And here he resigns because bink bink, you can take, I can take. These pawns aren't going nowhere because we got we got lock it down. Lock it the fuck down, motherfucker. He that was a beautiful master class of a motherfucking game, you feel me? We played at a 87.2, no blunders. We played at a skill level of 2200 like a motherfucking boss. And that's game one. Game two coming out right now. Like, comment, subscribe. Keep rocking with me. This game, chef's kisses again. Two chef's kiss. We're at 1910 rated, but we've been meandering around this 1900, dropping back down to 1890, getting back up to 1900, dropping back down to 1890. I'm done with that shit now. I promise. Let me not make promises I probably cannot keep, but I'm going to try my hardest, motherfuckers, that we are not going back down. I'm going to try my hardest. I'm going to put everything in my power to not go down. But let's get into this game. I play e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, and we play the scotchy scotch. He takes, I take. He develops the bishop, I develop the bishop. He develops the queen, I develop the pawn. I did a little bit of studying up on this opening because I was getting torched. Like when they played this line, I was getting torched. So he develops the knight, and now I know. Bishop c4, I, this is some studying. Castles, castles. This is as far as I got with the studying, though. You know me, I, I'm an intuition type of player, man. I play the game. He drops the bishop back. I play a4 just to take some space. He strikes in the center, and I'm like, mm, what's the move? They're saying B takes D5. Taking like this. Take, take. I take with the E pawn. He jumps the knight in, hitting my bishop one. Bishop to B3. Now he attacks my other bishop, and I'm like, mm, let me just get my knight activated. If you take my bishop, I take with pressure on the queen, and that's okay. He steps in, hitting my knight. They wanted me to play knight f4 to f3. Okay, I en passant that. He takes. I take back with tempo on the queen. He slides over, and now I'm like, ooh, okay. Okay. Do I take here? Oh, I had rook sack. Rook sack, rook takes. Queen up. Mmm, that's nice. Instead, I just step the queen up. Because I want to defend this pawn. And I'm also threatening perhaps some devious things over here. He slides the rook over. And now I jump my knight in. Hitting the bishop. Because I'm trying to induce him to take so I can take here. Jump my knight in here and have extra pressure here. That was my plan. He doesn't go for that. Now I play h3 just because he was threatening some devious things over here. Now he takes the pawn. And I decide to triple stack on this file. Look at this. Triple stack on his dome piece. It's even, though. Triple stack. Now he pushes. And now I'm winning. But the winning line, I'll show you in the game review. I already looked over it. It's insane. 
It's queen. Oh, it's queen takes c6? I take with the knight, though. I take with the knight. Now he pins. But the line here is knight here. You're thinking, what if he takes here? Oh. Oh, we sacked the queen. Rook takes. Rook takes. Discoveries all here. So anywhere I move the rook, it's check. But we gonna go over that game review. Instead, I try to just slide my knight out the way with check in the king. And now I slide out the way. He takes my knight. I take back with the bishop. Now I'm losing. He threatens mate and my knight. But what's the way I can defend this? Rook takes f7 because now check, I can run. You take, I take. And if you go check, I run. And then you take, I take with the bishop. And now it gets a little tricky here, folks. It gets a little tricky here because I'm threatening some crazy things. I'm threatening some crazy things. So he needs to be very careful. He needs to kind of go for, like, perpetual nonsense. That's what he needs to go for. But instead, he tries to get after my, my knight or my bishop. But this is M2, and I hope y'all can see it because I spotted it almost instantly, but I had to make sure. I had to make sure that it worked. And I'm going to tell you right now, it starts with the knight. Sack the knight on his dome piece. Sack the knight on his dome piece. You have to take. There's only, because your king can't move. After you take, the bishop covers this getaway square, and it's just money on the file. Money on the file. Queen h4, checkmate on your <laughs> dome piece. Say it with me now on your <laughs> dome piece. But, okay, that's the game. But I want to show you the line. Why it was winning. Knight here. Bishop takes. Wait, what? Queen d. Okay, well, if bishop takes. Was it queen sack? Queen sack. Rook takes. Rook takes. Queen takes e3 check. King h1. h5. Rook takes b7 check. King h7. Bishop c2 check. King h6, rook takes b8, queen e2, rook h8, king g5, rook f5, king h4, rook h takes, h5 check, queen has to take, rook has to take, king has to take, and that's, bro, do you see that shit? What is this game? Bro, that was how many? That was a how long of a sequence for advantage? Look at this. Okay. Starting with a queen sack. No, starting with swinging the... Starting... Okay, we're going to count. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 moves? Did I count wrong? Hey, yo, get the fuck up out of here, man. We done. Catch you on the next one. Deuces.